So earlier this week, we talked about the three best chest exercises that you can do. And I gave you guys my top three exercises and things like that. But honestly, in my opinion, I think the back is one of the more aesthetic and the best features that you can have on your body just because it frames your entire body and it can actually make you look bigger than you actually are your traps, your lats, and different things like that. So in my opinion, I think it's better to have a more aesthetic and more full back than it is to have a bigger chest and things like that. And I have brought my back a really, really long way. Before, it used to just be okay. Like I had definition, but I didn't have the size. And I definitely wasn't as strong as I am now. So today I'm gonna be telling you guys my top three back exercises. Nope, not yet. <laughs> he said nope, not yet. Let me get my pump first. Bryce. Top three favorite back exercises. Lap pull downs, singular lap pull. <laughs> Why those three? Lap pull downs are singular lats so I can get better isolation on each side. And then regular lap pull downs. Well, what is it? Close grip is better for me okay. so I can have better contraction and tightening my lats in more. Got you. And what the hell was the last one I said? You said single arm something? Oh, and pull ups. I like uh, calisthenics that you rely on all your weight. Got you. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Jenna, future Miss Olympia. Oh, hell. Okay. Top three favorite back exercises? Um, Behind the back lat pull downs. Okay. I feel them more, honestly. I used to like the regular ones, but I like them better. And then um, assistant pull-ups, because now I'm able to do a pull-up. And then <laughs> the rope pull-overs, because honestly, I feel that hella in my lats. So. Gotcha. Perfect. So one of my favorite exercises that I don't even know when I started doing it, but it's just, it's absolutely a staple and I'm never going to stop doing them, is landmine rows. Now this one more targets the lats and a little bit of the traps, and I like doing this with the V-bar or the... I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's just a V-bar close grip. Um, you can do this with something a little bit wider, like there are machines that mimic this exact movement, but I like doing this with the specific landmine that's built into the ground or that you put the bar into the little holder for it. I've been doing this for the longest time. Absolute staple. I think it's definitely one of my top three. It's not even debatable. I literally do this every single back day. I've progressed with this one. I think I owe a good amount of my lat development uh directly to this exact machine so if you haven't tried this machine before i definitely recommend you try it it's a really good lat exercise um and it's just it's just a really good overall back exercise it works out your erectors too just because when you're bent over at that angle trying to stabilize yourself it can get a little bit tiresome um especially with the if you overload the machine but i love doing this exercise it's one of my favorites the next exercise is not one of my favorites. It wasn't one of my favorites at the very beginning, but it's starting to be one of my favorites now, and that is bent over rows. Funny enough, this is actually my first time rowing 135 pounds. I've never done this weight before. Um, I started at like 70, then I went to 80, then I went to 90. The most I'd done before this was 110, probably like a month or so before this. But this is my first time doing 135, and it actually felt really, really good. This one also works out the equivalent muscle groups, but this one is a lot different. You can actually spread out your arms and your grip so that it works out your upper back more like your rear delts and your traps and things like that. But I like to have it a little bit closer. So it's just outside of the V bar grip. Um, and I just row it just like that. So right where the little grippy part of the bar starts that I don't know the name of it, right where that starts, that's where I grip it and I just row from there. Um, like I said, really good for lats and your traps. And this is just an absolute staple for a lot of people, not even just me, but just for a lot of people who work out their backs. This is one of the best workouts that you can do for it, just because you can vary it so much. And that is just a very good thing to a very good exercise to put slabs of meat on your back It's just really, really good for volume. One of the last exercises that I really love doing, and I like doing this a specific way. I like doing the machine lat pull downs because when you're doing it with a bar, it's a lot harder to get the cue that you want. The biggest cue, and if you guys watched my other back day video, the biggest cue that you want to do for this is making sure that you're trying to split your back, split your body into two pieces, a front half and a back half with your elbows. 
like you literally have scissors or like a knife and you're driving them into the bottom of your back and trying to split your body into two that's really really hard to do when you have that long bar or the lap pull down bar i don't know exactly what it's called but just that long bar that kind of curves down at the ends it's really hard to activate that and do that efficiently and effectively and target the the muscle correctly with that bar so i like things like this where it's detached or one that's at my other gym where it's individualized so you can literally do one arm at a time and they're independent of one another really love doing these these literally have helped my back develop so so much all of these have really helped my lats develop but this one specifically if you are doing these right like i say in all my back videos if you are doing these right and you are cueing yourself properly you have the mind and muscle connection it's you will get a pump and a contraction like you have never felt before so i highly highly recommend if you do this to not do it with a bar at a cable but to do like a machine that has one arm that's individualized and independent of one another or something similar because i guarantee you if you do that you're gonna feel it way better in your lats as opposed to just doing it with that long straight bar thank you guys for watching today's video um, i don't know if you guys noticed but there's a few wardrobe changes and that's because the intro and this outro and the segment about me asking their favorite workouts were all shot on today but everything else like the actual clips and stuff was shot on two days ago so everything is a little bit sporadic but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys have a video idea or something that you want me to cover or you just have questions in general about like working out or this video let me know with a comment down below if you guys like this video make sure you click the like button and turn it blue if you guys are new you guys like this video you like the next video you want to know about the other videos that i do make sure you click that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next video